The head of China's legislature, Li Jianshu, is in Seoul for a three-day visit marking the 30th anniversary of Seoul-Beijing diplomatic ties. There's a great deal of attention on what he says about North Korea's denuclearization and global supply chains. For more, we connect live to our Yi gyeong who's been covering his visit. gyeong what's on the schedule now for Li Jianshu? Hi, David. Lee chun shi met with South Korean President Yoon sung yeol at 4 p.m. this afternoon, which will be followed by a banquet at the residence of Kim Jin-pyo, South Korea's National Assembly Speaker. Prior to coming here, Lee held talks with Speaker Kim, and during a roughly one-hour session, Topping the agenda as expected was North Korea's denuclearization. And both speakers emphasized cooperation through dialogue to achieve peace on the Korean Peninsula. Take a listen. South Korea is committed to responding resolutely to any provocations by the North, but we'll continue to look at ways to solve the issue peacefully. We anticipate China's constructive role. We agree that protecting peace on the Korean Peninsula falls into our common interests. We will need to strengthen communication to find a political solution to this problem. Chairman Lee added that the two will work to resolve, quote, sensitive issues in an appropriate manner, hinting a source push to normalize the operation of the U.S. anti-missile defense system FAD. In the meantime, also taking center stage during their discussions were economic ties, such as stabilizing the global supply chain and expanding the free trade agreement. In fact, prior to the meeting, Lee visited South Korea's R&D hub, LG Science Park, where much of his focus is set to be on LG's EV batteries, which ranked number two in global sales. Right, kyung and so uh, what else can you share with us about <clears throat> the broader implications of uh, this trip by Lee Jan-shu to Seoul, which, of course, uh, comes at the invitation of Kim Jin-pyo? Well, Devin, I would like to touch upon the fact that Lee chan shu is the third highest-ranking official in China who is considered to be one of key aides to President Xi Jinping. We also have to note that South Korea is one of the first countries he has visited after three years without overseas travel due to COVID-19. And observers say that this may be um, seen as China's attempt to boost economic ties with Seoul as the U.S. is currently trying to dominate global supply chains along with its allies, of course, including South Korea. Liz's visit to LG Science Park supports that idea as that's the very place U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen visited during her visit to Seoul. All of this comes as uh, President Xi is looking for an unprecedented third term in office in October. Now, eyes are on whether Liz's visit could lead to a summit between President Yoon and President Xi. Back to you, Devin.